Digital Network. The Bison Basketball Show. With NDSU head coaches Dave Richmond and Jory Collins. The Bison Basketball Show is presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life. And Pepsi. Hey, friends and Bison Nation, welcome in to the Bison Basketball Show. I'm Rob Pip, and here with Coach Richmond. Coach, it's a new season. Crazy how fast things go. Got to ask you, how have things been? And it's so cliche to say exciting, Rob, but it, it's great to be back. It is, and, and welcome to you and your family to Fargo and to Bison Nation as you're experiencing it. It's, it's a wonderful place, but um, we're, we're, we're really excited. I mean, it, it's right here, late October, early November. We're excited to get this thing rolling. Excited about it as well, and Coach, five returners, eight new players on this team, six freshmen. Also wanted to ask you just how's the offseason been and what were some points of emphasis heading into this season? I think we got some name tags going around here, Rob, just uh, trying to figure out who everybody is. But honestly, it's been exciting. This is what college basketball is all about. You're going to have some new faces every year. Um, and this group has really latched on to each other. Our, our five guys that stuck around um, have done a tremendous job just grabbing those new guys and, and bringing them into the fold and teaching them our standards and expectations. And this is a group that likes each other, like I mentioned. Um, they've had a a lot of fun together which is a big part of the journey because it's a long journey and they listen they listen really well and it's been exciting to get this thing going well junior grant nelson previous six man of the year named to the all summit first team uh, this year talk a little bit about the expectations for him this season and how he continues to grow with this team well i think it's important for all of us and starting with myself rob to just make sure that grant nelson goes out and stars and being the best grant nelson that he can be um, there's a lot of hype and expectations and all those things we'll, we'll never get to any of that if if we don't just lock in every day in, in, in the tackle process. And that's the best part about Grant. He's so hungry. He's so humble. Um, you know, I, I always go back to Monday, Monday mornings, Monday afternoon, Grant Nelson. No matter what happened, he's coming to work. He's pounding the balls and two ball dribbles. He's getting his shots up. Um, he, he's gotten a lot stronger in the offseason. So um, it, it'll be fun to see Grant's growth here um, this season for us. Shift gears to Andrew Morgan, another young man that continues to grow with this team. Uh, kind of heard during practices and some of it, you know, he's getting a little bit mean out there, which is good for basketball. That, that's perfect. You know, I go back to one of the, the videos that was shared with us. And, and, and I say this and as a father, Rob, who's got, you know, elementary and, and middle school daughters, like bullying is not OK. But, but Andrew Morgan on the court is a bully and that is OK. And, and um, he comes comes straight from the farm. Um, that's how he plays with that blue collar mentality. Um, another guy that's done a tremendous job for us in the, in the weight room in the off season of really, I mean, he went through that injury and lost a bunch of weight and, and uh, has put that all back on and more and gotten a lot stronger. Um, and it's going to be good. It's going to be fun to see his growth now as he becomes one of one of the guys that we're playing through. Um, and we're going to need him to continue to grow defensively too to be where we want to be. You know, as a sophomore and he continues to mold with this team, you just mentioned some of that, just some more of his expectations this year. Yeah, I mean, the, the expectations in a lot of ways and in, in, in how we've played in the past is to play inside out. It's a, it's a tough-minded uh, basketball, um, you know, and, and to be able to touch the post, it, it seems so simple, Rob, but, uh, you know, the, the, the higher percentage shots, the, the closer they are to the rim. And so we want to start who we are offensively uh, a lot of times around Andrew um, and play inside out. Well, we got to take a look at the summit, the preseason summit league poll. As you talk about Oral Roberts at the top, followed by South Dakota State, and then South Dakota, North Dakota State at number four. Just kind of your thoughts on the poll and, and how things are shaping up this year. You know, as we're doing a show, I need to be more excited about preseason things, Rob, because I, I get it. It gets the media going, it gets the fans going. Um, for us coaches, it really doesn't mean anything. You know, the poll that means uh, everything to us is at the end of the season. Now, I will say it gets you, it gets the blood flowing a little bit. It gets it's the excitement. Um, you know, we have obviously higher expectations than, than being fourth, uh, but none, none of that will materialize if we don't hit a process and, and work daily. Starting out this season in non-conference play, you go through the schedule, you're facing some teams that are in the Elite Eight. One of them, of course, Kansas goes on to win the national championship. I uh, just want to talk about how important are these games and just evaluating your guys as we head into this new season, Coach. Well, I think it's big. I always go back to the phrase, and it, it stands in Bison in, in, the, in the shack now and then the Sanford Health Athletic Complex, but bring on the competition and and that's always stuck with me and and we're certainly going to get
get tested right out of the gates. And Arkansas has been to back-to-back -back Elite Eights, like you mentioned. Kansas goes on and wins the national championship this year. And, and no matter what happens, win by 20, lose by 20, somewhere in between, Rob, we're going to go back to work and, and hit a process to prepare ourselves for ultimately what we're going through um, and going towards. And, and that's being where we need to be in February and March. Again, here with Coach Dave Richmond, NDSU men's basketball coach. I've already talked about the new season. That's what we've been talking about. What are you most excited? I mean, every year is a new challenge, a new opportunity. What excites you the most about this year? I just think it's that. You know, we, we've kind of termed our, our season this year a little bit of a blank slate. I mean, this, this group that was with us the last couple of years, they did a tremendous job, some unbelievable young men, some obviously talented basketball players. Um, but, but a lot of those faces are gone. And, and this, is a, this is a new group. And, and Bowden Scumberg, Des McKinney, Grant Nelson, that we've talked about, they've done a tremendous job of being leaders and bringing them in. And I, and I just looked forward to, like every year, to see the growth of a group to go on a journey together. Coach, you've been with this program for many, many years. It doesn't seem like it. I know time goes so yeah. fast, but your ninth season heading in now as head basketball coach. Talk a little bit about that journey and just what it's meant to you. I mean, it's crazy. It really is. Some days it feels like it's been 29. Some days it feels like it's been nine months. And um, I think it helps me, too. We've got new faces like yourself, Rob, that are going to be with us on the, on the journey. Um, and, but again, I, here, here I go saying the E word again. It's just exciting. It, it really is. I mean, just to, for, for me, I have an expectation of what this is going to be about. Uh, for me, it's exciting to see some new faces grow and see how they're going to handle some things and some situations. Um, all part of the process that we really enjoy. Final quick question. Got just a few more seconds here. For me on the road, should I eat a lot? What do I got to worry about, Coach? That, that's on you. You know, that, that's on you and, and uh, you know, how you want to handle that business. I, I will tell you this. We do eat a lot, and we do eat a lot. So um, that, that's another thing. Like I said, um, uh, you know, when we, we get on these, we, we become a tight-knit family. I think Wes uh, tipped me off the other day, 16 to 30 days. We're going to be on the road. Hey, it is what it is. It's part of mid-major basketball. It's all part of the excitement. Coach, as always, appreciate your time. Looking forward to many more. This, this year and uh, congratulations on all the success and more continued success. Glad to have you with us on the journey, Rob. Thank you. Well, stay with us, friends. Coming up, junior guard Bowden at Scunberg joins us. The Bison Basketball Show continues after this. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Bison Nation, this is head football coach Matt Entz. With all that goes into leading the Bison to victory, the last thing I want to worry about is the clothing I need to look and feel my best. I shop at Halberstadt's West Acres because I trust that they provide me with everything I need for meetings at the office, press conferences, and casual Bison attire. With plenty of options for sport coats, shirts, denim, suits, shoes, and accessories, I'm confident that when I need anything and everything menswear, Halberstadt's West Acres has me covered. For decades, NODAC Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents in good times and challenging times. We come together for the greater good, from simple acts of kindness to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. NODAC Insurance Company, agents with answers. Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Back into the Bison Basketball Show. I'm Rob Pip. As always, been fun so far. And hey, you're our first player we get to interview. It's junior guard Bowden Scunberg. Bowden, got to ask, how you doing, man? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Well, we talk about, we're going to talk basketball, but I got to ask you real quickly, what have you been up to during the summer? I mean, we don't have much of a break in the summer. You know, we're straight to it. But, you know, I kind of like get away for a little bit, but... Besides that, we just we work out all summer, pretty much. Bowden, entering your third year with the program, just what's that journey been like for you so far? What have you learned? How have you grown? Oh, it's been it's been an amazing journey. You know, just growing on the court, 
but also off the court. You know, we've just learned a lot throughout, you know, college experience. It's been, it's been a really fun journey. This team, you're one of five returners here this season, six freshmen. Just wanted to ask you from a player standpoint, what's that chemistry like? How is that starting to be built early on in the season? Yeah, definitely. It, it, it was weird starting off right away because, you know, there's only five of us returning. And then we had to kind of work on work in all these other guys. And it's been a really fun experience, you know, from a leadership standpoint. So kind of talking more about that. No seniors on this roster this year, kind of a unique situation. That leadership role starts to drop down to younger guys. Wanted to ask you, what leadership role do you have on this team? You know, I'm one of the three captains, fortunately. Uh, it's me, Des, and Grant. And, you know, my first couple of years, we had great captains, and I got to learn a lot from them. So I've just really appreciate the opportunity to be able to help lead the team in whatever way I can. I'm going to ask you a question now, and it's a, it could be an easy question, so you can't say coach because that's the easy way out. Who have you learned from most on this team outside of your coaching staff? Outside of the coaching staff? Hmm. Honestly, it would be Dave, I'd say, <laughs> because I, he, he teaches me a lot off the court, on the court. You know, he's just been a big role model in my life. Battling some tough teams to start this season in non-conference play, Arkansas at Kansas. How does that help you guys build up heading into conference play? Definitely. You know, we're looking at all the games the same. We're going there to win, and we, we like playing competition, so we're excited. We're excited to play whoever it is. You know, it's, it's uh, being a bison is a great thing. There's a lot of excellence around the program. Coaches demand a lot. What, is, what are the coaching staff? What's Coach Richmond? What are they demanding of you this season? Oh, yeah. I mean, just to play my role, do whatever I can, lead the team and just do whatever I can to help win, whatever that may be. A lot of time for just self-evaluation each year from year in, year out. You've been with the program three years now. What are some strengths that you have that you really feel that you can bring to the table and build upon as the season starts up? Yeah, definitely. I feel like I can just bring a lot of energy to the team, you know, just to talk, to help lead the, you know, the younger guys who don't really have that as much experience coming in. So I feel like I can just grow in that role. You'll learn from me. I'm a pretty positive guy, but we got to flip the script. Do have to talk about some weaknesses. Where are some areas of concern that you have that you say, hey, I've really got to step this up and to move forward this year? Yeah, just, you know, finding my pace on the offensive end probably and just, you know, picking and choosing my shots, you know, getting in the flow of things and not forcing things. Every season, new opportunities present themselves. What are you excited most about? I'm just, I'm just excited to finally start playing basketball again. You know, we grind all summer, practice, lift. Work out. I'm just excited to start playing again for the fans. Speaking of the fans, Bison Nation, just so engaged in this community, engaged with what you guys do. Just talk a little bit about the fan base and how much they mean to you as a player. Oh yeah, definitely. You, you can feel it just being in Fargo. You know, everyone you see, they're like, "Hey, go Bison!" or "Good luck in your game." It's you can feel the energy. It's just a really good thing to be a part of. Finally, something I do with the players. Who do you want to say hello to? I know your family comes to a lot of the games. Who do you want to say hello to today? <laughs> I want to say what's up to my mom. <laughs> All right. All right. Mom. <laughs> Great deal. Well, Bowden, we appreciate you. Good luck this season. Excited to see you on the court. And, uh, hey, horns up. Go Bison. Go Bison. Once again, that was Bowden Scunberg coming up. We'll talk NDSU women's basketball as Coach Jory Collins joins us. The Bison basketball show returns after this. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. This is Jack. Jack loves sports. And since he banks at Gate City Bank, he can show his spirit right on his debit card. Even better, Gate City Bank will donate $10 to his favorite local school. And when Jack's friends cheer on their favorite teams, those schools receive $10 too. Plus, Jack and his friends score every day with free ATMs worldwide. Now that's always a win. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life.
For the best sports coverage, turn to the home of local sports, WDAY. For exclusive live games, analysis, and much more, there are more ways to watch than ever before. Turn to WDAY and WDAY Extra or subscribe online to WDAY Sports Plus for up-to-the-minute content you won't find anywhere else. Available on Inforum.com. Don't miss a minute of the action on the home of local sports, WDAY. Another rock and roll weekend. Burgers, better with Pepsi. Welcome back into the Bison Basketball Show. I'm Rob Pip, and now joined by women's head basketball coach Jory Collins. Coach, new season. Just got through talking to Coach Richmond a while ago. How have you been besides basketball? I've been great. Uh, enjoying this weather right now. It's usually not this warm uh, this late into the year, but um, things are going well. Practice has been going well. Uh, like everybody this time of year, you're just anxious to get the season started and start playing some games. Speaking of getting the season started, you're entering your fourth year now as head coach under the women's program. Just wanted to ask you, what's that journey been like for you? How's it been? Well, it's been a lot of fun. Um, it's been challenging. You know, some things you didn't see coming, the, uh, the COVID year and a half and some things like that as you're starting to get a program going. Uh, it, I came here for the challenge of, of getting this program uh, towards the top of the summit. We feel like we're on that path. It's been a little wavy ride a little bit in some areas, uh, but we feel pretty comfortable with where we're at now and the direction that we're going and uh, looking forward to, to climbing. Going back to last year, 11 and 18 last year, 7 and 1 in the summit play, but just really what's been the focus of this offseason heading in? Yeah, I mean, we, we're continuing to get our culture ingrained into our players and, and that starts with having the right people in the room uh, we have six returners who we feel real fortunate to have that um, we think know what it takes uh, and know what we want to be uh, we've had to incorporate a lot of new players um, into our program and they've done a great job uh, this summer and, and into this fall of um, just buying in and, and being coachable and wanting to do the right things and uh, putting that all together is the challenge right now with some new ones but obviously it's something that you look forward to. Of course we always want to highlight your girls and just what they've been able to do and, and you just mentioned a lot of new faces uh, you talk about six returners into your program now senior guard Heaven Hamling returns averaging just over 14 points a game last season picking up all Summit League uh, first team preseason honors this year just talk a little bit about her play and how she's continued to mold and develop with your program. Yeah I mean Heaven's just she's so fun to coach she's fun to have on your team there's I, I talk about it every time I think we talk about her just her joy for playing basketball and how competitive she is um, is just it, it's contagious right it's contagious with coaches it's contagious with her teammates uh, and the other thing that I respect about her love about her is her continued desire to get better uh, she competes in the weight room she competes uh, on, in the court on her, on her own time. She's continuing to get better. She's going to have her best year that she's ever had this year. I don't think there's any doubt about that. It's just fun to watch her continue to grow. Well, we'll highlight a lot of players, of course, as this season goes on, but wanted to switch gears, talk a little bit about your junior guard and Abby Schulte, another impact player on this court. Uh, she played in all 29 games, of course, last season as a sophomore. How has she continued to develop within your program? Yeah, so we've asked Abby to do multiple things. She's played off the ball a ton her first couple years. She's playing some point guard for us right now. She's kind of a versatile player for us on that end of the floor. Um, you know, leadership-wise, she's really come into her own. Uh, is starting to become more vocal and take some more responsibility in, in getting people where they need to be and, and how they need to do things. Uh, she's maybe one of the best on-ball defenders in the league, I think. Uh, and then is it her ability to get to the rim and play in transi transition are all things that we enjoy uh, about her game. Coach, got to ask you just a question off the wall here. What makes your job as a coach easier? Oh, man. What makes it easier? You always get the difficult it, question, so what makes right, it easier? Right. What, what makes it easier is when everybody shows up and is enthusiastic about what we're doing. Uh, you know, when, when you get a room full of people that are all committed together, um, how, that's how we feel about our team right now. We're all on the same page, pulling in the same direction. It makes it fun to show up to work every day. It makes it fun to go to practice and fun to play. Well, coach, a competitive non-conference schedule to open up the season on the road at Montana, then four games at home, including Minnesota. Just talk a little bit about that schedule and how it prepares your team heading into Summit League play. Yeah, you know, uh, 
Big game on Monday uh, against Montana, who was a really good team last year, and, and we had a great game against them last year uh, here. Uh, looking forward to that one. Obviously, our non-conference highlighted game probably is the Gophers coming in here on the 17th, and um, super excited about that. And then we're going to get tested on the road. I think we go on the road for six straight, uh, about three weeks worth there, uh, right before Christmas. So uh, those games are, are designed to help us to get ready for Summit League play. We want to be able to hit the ground running on the 19th of December and, and, and get rolling in Summit League play. Speaking of Summit League play as South Dakota State number one in that preseason poll, followed by USD, then Oral Roberts, UND, North Dakota State at number five. Just talk a little bit about the strength of the league this season. Yeah, I think, you know, when you look at it on paper, I think South Dakota State just returns after, after a great year last year, returns some really uh, veteran players that have been good players in this league. I think they're obviously were unanimously number one. And then I kind of felt bad for the voters after that. Uh, I don't know that there's a league that had as much turnover uh, as we did with coaching staffs and players transferring. Um, I think that was kind of a guessing game after that. So uh, we think it's pretty wide open uh, and we have a chance to, to really compete to be in that top three positions. Uh, and that's going to be our goal this year. Coach, as we continue on, just the last couple of questions here. What are you looking forward to most about this season as you head in? Yeah, just, you know, we've talked about having new players, how that all comes together, how they fit together. Uh, the growth that we have, we're going to have a chance to have tremendous growth from game to game uh, just because we do have some youth and inexperience. Uh, but that's going to be exciting to watch and, and, and see where we end up being. And then finally, just wanted to plug our fan base. Bison Nation has been so good for so long. Just how much do they mean to your program and coming out and supporting the girls? Well, it means everything, uh, you know, and, I, and, and they know, you know, we feel a tremendous responsibility, uh, you know, to put this program on the map and to get it back to where it has been in the past. It has such great tradition here with women's basketball. Uh, that's what our goal is. That's what we're going to do. Uh, they make it sure make it easier when they show up and cheer us on, though. Great. Well, Coach, as always, appreciate your time. Also looking forward to Andy Rickoff now, the voice of women's basketball. And I'm looking forward to getting to know you a little bit more as a season Well, we're on. excited to have both of you. It's, uh, uh, you know, a little bit of a change, uh, but that's uh, always necessary and great for everybody. We're excited to work with both of you. Coach, as always, thank you. Good luck this season. You bet. Thank you. Well, that'll wrap up with Coach Jory Collins here. Senior guard Heaven Hamling joins us on the Bison Basketball Show when we return after this. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. All the NDSU Bison action with Bison Media Zone at Inforum.com. From live game coverage to post game shows, podcasts, live chats, video blogs, daily articles, and more, Bison Media Zone is your number one source for all things Bison. Follow the herd and find the Bison Media Zone at Inforum.com to catch your Bison sports news today and every day. Burgers, better with Pepsi. Welcome back into the Bison Basketball Show. I'm Rob Pip, and now joined by senior guard Heaven Hamling. Heaven, good to see you. How have you been? What's it been like outside of basketball? Hey, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, it just, it's just—it's been crazy. The summer was really busy, but uh, yeah, it's been fun. I got to go fishing uh, and a little bit of hunting in this past summer, fall. Uh, so yeah, it's been great. 
you already alluded to that. I wanted to ask you, you like to go out and hunt and fish, so you got a little bit of that in, you said. What's that been like for you? Yeah, I caught some walleyes this summer, um, just uh, crappies and bluegills, too. Um, and just got to sit in the stand a little bit this fall, uh, right before basketball season started. Uh, so, yeah, it's been really fun. Well, hey, Heaven, fourth year with the program. You've seen a lot. You've been through a lot. How have you continued to grow and mature with the women's basketball program? Yeah, honestly, just getting everybody in order, um, just bringing enthusiasm every single day and just playing your heart out on the court, whether that's practice, scrimmages, um, little things we got going on, uh, just always keeping a competitive mindset, uh, just keeping everybody going and creating a fun environment. You're one of six returners on this team, but a lot of new faces in the women's basketball program as well. How is that team chemistry starting to come together? It's been going well. Um, I think it's been awesome having a bunch of new people um, in the locker room and on the court. Uh, we just mesh so well together, even though we've only known each other uh, since June. And we just have a great group of girls that all really love the game of basketball, which makes it so fun. Heaven, with you being a senior on the team, talk a little bit about your leadership role and, and how you feel into that. Right, yeah, I think I just really uh, step into just relaying the messages uh, from our coaches and getting people in order on the court and where we need to go for this drill and for that drill. Um, and then just being a voice in the locker room uh, just to listen to people um, and talk through what they need to work on um, on the court or just helping them out in every aspect. What are some of the expectations that Coach Collins has for you heading into this year? Yeah, just play my heart out, keep being the same competitive person I've been. Um, and good things will happen. Uh, he knows that I like to push myself, so he kind of has that standard for me, and I uh, stick to it. Well, what are some of your strengths? See, you just talked about playing your heart out. I know that's a big strength for you. What are some other strengths, and, and just how do you build upon that? Yeah, just honestly, just uh, passing, scoring, um, being that leader on the court that um, people can reach out and be like, hey, we need you for this, and I'm there. Um, and, yeah, just doing all that. Uh, keeping everybody in line, making sure everybody knows the plays. That's just kind of how I've been going into my senior year. And then finally, got to talk. What are you most excited about this season? Um, I'm most excited for the road trips, honestly, even though everyone kind of hates being on the road. I think they're so fun. Um, just being with your teammates and having that experience with your coaches and spending so much time together just really uh, creates a fun environment, and I think it's really fun. Well, Heaven, thanks for joining us. Good luck this season. Thank you. Well, that will wrap up our Bison basketball show. Looking forward to the season. Get your tickets and more. You can find the schedules. GoBison.com. Horns up and go Bison. The Bison basketball show is presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life. And Pepsi. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield.